my friends welcome back to my channel so i have been agonizing over what um, i'm going to do for my next video and i've been waffling back and forth you know between color pencil and pastel um because i kept thinking like all right it's you know it's time to do one of those but to be honest with you right now i am just so completely obsessed with acrylic painting that that's what I want to do. So hopefully um, that's okay with you. And if it's not, I am sorry. But um, that is where my um, that is where my brain and my um, my my feelings are right now. So that is what I am going to do. So. Um, Filming the can't doing the canvases is a little bit more challenging um, than doing um, a color pencil or pastel piece because they are so much bigger. Um, this canvas I think is eighteen by twenty four. Yes, it's an eight, eighteen by twenty four canvas. So twice as four times as yeah, it's big. It's bigger than my my normal little pieces of paper. Um, but I think that we will, um, I think that this will work. And I think I've got the camera in such a position where um, the angle doesn't have to be as strong as it was on um, the previous video that I did where it was so skewed that the fox's face looked, it, it made him look like a baby fox because his nose was all short and, and, and um, stubby unlike what it actually looked like in the end. So, all right. So I am going to work on um, this photo by uh, Manon Weller, Wellner, sorry, from, um, she's on Instagram. And um, just fantastic, ugh, fantastic photos. And um, uh, I, I asked permission to use it. And I asked permission to... Um, do it as a um, demo here on YouTube and was given permission to do that. So if you um, decide that you want to um, do this piece as well, please, please go to the IG account that I will have linked um, in the description box below and just um, just get um, permission to, to recreate um, this photo as well. It's just, it's the nice thing to do. So, um, what I have done so far is I just kind of did a quick outline of um, where the background is going to be because I want to lay the background in before I start doing the piece in front. And I don't necessarily want to cover the entire piece with the green. I just, I kind of just don't feel like doing that. Um, so, I will um, definitely be getting the green um you know, over the lines, but at least that way I'm not, I'm not doing all of this, um, which is going to be really unnecessary. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to work on the background and, um, I'm going to try my new, um, the new technique with my fabulous fine mist sprayer that I got from Amazon. And, um, again, I learned this from Lisa LaCree and um, so we're going to try working wet on uh, you know wet in wet and see see how that goes I think it's going to be good I think it's going to be fun she says that with the fine mist sprayer you can um, uh, continue to just keep that paint wet 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 and it is absolutely no problem and so that is what we are going to, um, that's what we're going to do. Okay, so I have um, just a few, just a couple of colors of paint, and I'm going to start with that and see how I like it. Um, I have Brilliant Yellow Green and Light Green Permanent from the Liquitex Basics line, plus um, Titanium White and Mars Black. And I need to get my handy dandy um, makeup brush, um, which 
um, works great for blending, but you want to always have it be dry. So have a rag or something to use to clean it off with. Um, and um, for this, the camera kind of is in my way a little bit, so I'm going to really try and um, work around it. But if I accidentally bump the camera, I'm apologizing in advance. <laughs> but um, it really bothered me when I was looking at the um, footage back in the last one. And um, it was just at such a bad angle. So we are going to give this a shot. Okay, so I'm going to start. And I don't know if this is right or not, but I'm going to start by um, just giving the canvas a little bit of a spray. And I'm using a pretty big um, flat brush. And I'm I'm honestly I'm just gonna yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna start. I'm just gonna start laying in some paint. That's really bright. Okay, so right off the bat, I'm gonna go new. No, don't like it that bright. So I'm adding just a little bit of black to that. And that's much better. So I have no idea how often I have to <laughs> spray um, to keep this working the wet in wet, really. I mean, I truly am like just learning. Now I want to blend out these colors a little bit. And I think that's enough for now. I will layer other colors on top. Um, I know I want some darker color on top, but you know, I think um, I do think that layering will work out just fine with this. Um, yeah, <laughs> no idea what, what I'm doing, but um, yeah, we're winging it. I think that's okay for now. I will leave that as it is and we'll keep coming up here. Well, that's pretty wet. something really fun about just slapping paint down on a canvas. <laughs> I like it. Okay, so just lightly, very, very light pressure. And that's it. We don't want to go to... Um, too much. And then um, I didn't put the, the um, branch that's over here on the edge, but I do think that I want some color in here. So I am going to put some color in here. And it's totally fine if, you know, the branch goes on top of it, but at least we get some, some color. Okay, I'm going to let this dry, and, um, and then I'll come back and do some more layers. Okay, so I just used my blow dryer and dried that. It took like a minute, just kind of sped up the process a little bit. So um, anytime you're working in layers, you want to make sure that your, your layer underneath is um, dry. 
because when you go to try and put new colors on top, if you are not, um, if you're working and it's not completely dry, um, there's a very good chance that you're going to pull up the paint that you had on in the previous layer. So just be aware of that. All right, so I'm going to give that side a spray. And I'm gonna, I switched brushes. Oops, well, I did not mean to do that. I just accidentally dipped it in the white paint. All right, so we have a little bit of gray. <laughs> um, all right, let's see. Let's see how wet. Let's do that one more time. So um, this, um, hang on, I can't remember what I was going to say. All right, let's do this first. There we go. That's what we want. Okay, so what was, what was I going to say? I have no idea. Never mind. Um, I'm going to work this in layers. Oh, I know what I was going to say. The um, the water. Um, definitely want the fine mist sprayer. Um, so you don't have bubbles on your, bubbles of water on your um, canvas. Okay, let's do some up here maybe bit. Yep, I can tell right there. I don't know if you can see that, but I thought that the canvas was dry, but when I went to blend that all out, it pulled the, um, it pulled the green right off of the um, canvas, which is not what we want. And this might be a mistake, me doing this. <laughs> I should probably have dried it um, some more. All right, so here we go. Let's. let's I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call that. I'm gonna call that good. I'll layer some other stuff on top of it. I don't want to mess with it. Okay, so some more. This is um, kind of a new technique for me, so I'm still, well, everything. It's all new to me, right? Um, so, again, I'll give that good old disclaimer that I am not a professional painter. And... Uh, I'm just learning. So if you want to learn from um, good people <laughs> who really know what they're doing, um, check out Lisa LaCree um, or Studio Wildlife, both of those, um, both of those channels have some wonderful uh, tutorials to follow. I've learned so much from both of them. And, um, highly recommend those channels. Okay, so again, I'm going to dry this and be right back. Alrighty, so let us try and add some lights in here now. And get up with spray. Well, that's not showing up very well, is it? How about that? That's probably because this is a transparent color. Yes, it is. All right, so I'm gonna add some white to this, um, this color because that just was not working. And I don't know if this is gonna work either. Now things get milky which is what I don't want. 
so we'll probably have to um, glaze some color over the top of this to get it to do what I wanted it to do. Um, that's one of the things that I do really like about the um, this brand of paint is that you can glaze color over the top and build your colors up that way, which I definitely, <clears throat> uh, that way of doing things just really appeals to me. So I know that it looks kind of icky now, but once we lighten, then we go back and put some prettier colors on top but it, what it is doing is kind of giving me the modeled look that I um, that I wanted now the interesting thing is I haven't really tried working wet in wet So, if it's still wet, it should be able to yep. That white really kind of made things not pretty. So, um Think it'll be okay. Uh, and I still haven't, I still haven't quite learned about like, um, I don't know, I haven't, that black just kind of went gray and yucky because of the colors that I had on here ahead of time. Sorry, it's hard to talk and work at the same time, so I should probably just sh shut up and figure out what I want to do here. I don't love this. I want to love it, but I don't, I don't love it. Yet. Yet. I don't love it yet. Okay, I'm going to um, I think I'm going to let this dry once again. I know I need a little bit more paint here because if I don't, we're going to be And then there's this whole thing about when you're working and blending. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna let that dry and come back and work on top of it again. When you start blending wet into dry, it causes a lot of problems. <laughs> okay, so I know right off the bat of two mistakes that I made um, on this for sure. Um, one is choosing a transparent color. Um, I didn't pay attention to the fact that it was a semi-transparent color. Um, and so adding that white to that, all that did was make everything look milky and yucky. And I don't, I'm not happy with that. I don't like that. Um, and the second was using black. At least I think this was a mistake. Using black to mix into my green instead of trying to add a teensy tiny little bit of red, um, the complementary color, and try and tone down the color that way. So, um, yeah, 
Uh, so I have to kind of figure out what to do now. I think I'm going to try um, a teensy tiny little bit of red. And I think, I think literally it's just the tiniest little bit that you need um, to, to darken a color a bit. And so that's what I did, a little bit of red. And I switched back to my other brush because, well, just because. Um, and I think I'm gonna go over this whole thing because I wasn't super happy. And I'm getting happier <laughs> now. Um, so I used this light green permanent, which is really, really bright. And I'm taking, whoop, <laughs> not that much. Nope. I'm taking the tiniest little bit, like a dot of red paint and mixing it into that green to tone down that green. Um, and it totally works. <laughs> um, so one of the things that I want to get better at is a little bit more mixing with my colors. And I am gonna use some, um, I am gonna use some transparent mixing white. So transparent mixing white um, is not opaque like the, um, uh, titanium white is. And so what happens then when I mix some of this green in with the transparent mixing white is it lightens the color but still leaves it a little like nice and translucent. which is much more close to the look that I was after. So we'll throw a little bit of that in here. Maybe a little bit more. Do a little bit of blending. I'm using that brush very, very lightly, almost to the point where I'm kind of only just using it on the tip the tip of the brush. Um, so the only thing that's happening is that the, just that is what's getting um, touched with paint. This is getting, this is much better. So every um, painting that I do, I'm learning something new. I'm learning some, um, what not to do's, I'm learning some what to do's. Okay, so just there I added back some of this. Um, I'm gonna spray this again because I'm working wet and wet. Some of this, that lime green color that didn't show up before. It's because the colors underneath were so dark. Now I am going to go ahead and try and add some black into this after this dries. And um, one of two things is going to happen. Either I'm going to love it and we'll be done with the background or I'm going to hate it and I'm going to have to start this process all over again. And I'm okay with that because uh, I'm learning. Debating what to do down here. I'm not a super fan of what's happened there. So I think I'm just going to glaze some of this green over the top right there. A 
Okay, I'm liking this better. I know we've got some like crazy shine going on here from my lights, but um, okay, one more time of letting it dry. And right um, now, I don't know how well you can see that, but I've got this um, fine layer of green paint on the surface of those bristles. So I'm going to take my um, sprayer and I just misted it with water and I'm going to take my rag and I'm going to get all that paint off. And because it was only misted with a real fine spray, the only thing that's wet are the very tips of the brush and it's virtually dry now but it's clean, so I can use it again when um, the time comes. Oh, and one more thing. Um, um, a lot of artists use um, mop brushes for this. This is a makeup brush. It's probably twice as cheap or more than, than twice as cheap. <laughs> way to say that? No, it's less expensive than an artist's mop brush, and I haven't had any issues with bristles falling out. So um, this one is by Eco Tools. I don't remember where I got it. I might have got it on Amazon, and if I did, I'll put a link for it in the uh, description box down below. Okay, so let's let this dry, and um, I will be right back. Okay, so I know I said I wanted to do black but I've decided before I add black, I want to still add some more um, transparent mixing white. And let's see what that does. I have no idea what I'm trying to achieve here, by the way, which is really <laughs> I mean, I, I kind of want it to resemble the um, reference photo background, but on the other hand, um, it doesn't need to, but I could tell that I wanted more light before I add any more black. Again, I'm kind of afraid to add the black too. It's like, oh no, what's gonna happen if I add black? I might not like it. What I do love though is this is blending the color wet into wet. Um, I did this really cool technique with my sword liner on my tiger. And I thought about doing that on this one, but it just didn't seem like the right, it didn't seem like the look that I was after. So we'll do that on a different video. See, I like this dark bit right here. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to achieve that. Um, Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure if I'll be able to achieve getting the dark dark enough without it looking bad or not. Just do, do. I that might have been too much. Okay, one more little bit over here. Um, also, be careful when you are um, using that spray that you're not spraying too close. Um, because if you spray too close, then that completely defeats the purpose of the fine mist sprayer. And uh, you won't be happy. Can I do some more right there? I don't know. I don't know. Does it work? Will it work if I add more? Okay, 
Well, I'm kind of getting the same look. <laughs> I'm, I'm rapidly working towards the same look that I did on my tiger, but I guess that's okay. It's similar. It's not the same. All right, let's uh, one more round of one more round of um, drawing, and I'm gonna try black on the next on the next go round. Okay, here goes. Um, okay, here goes. So mist with water. My black, I'm gonna start small. I'm, a, I'm absorbing, <laughs> I'm absorbing what's happening and deciding if I like it. to the point now where it's just I don't dislike it I don't I'm not happy here um, I know that his arm is going to be all black here. So honestly, I don't want to go. Now that I, after I've realized like some stuff, I think I don't want to go that um, dark down over here. So we'll, I'm going to rethink that a little bit. See, I'm going too big put too much paint down and then it has to have somewhere to go and the only place for it to go is all over everything that I don't want it to go. So let's try that. A little more water. I don't want I don't want swirly marks. I want it smooth. And I kind of got some swirly marks right there. Oh, 
Well, that's not bad. It's not, uh, I'm having to kind of move around to see what I'm, because the lights are uh, causing kind of a problem. Well, I just keep taking more and more off, don't I? That's okay. Yeah, see how now when I'm trying to do this, see how I have all those little dots? Um, that's because the paint is coming off because the, um, because the paint was, was not um, wet enough when I went to try and blend it. And so it, all it was doing was removing paint instead of You know, I think it's okay because I think I'm going to do some splatter stuff on it. It's all just a big experiment. Um, and this, I don't even know how much of this you're actually going to see because there's a panda and a tree branch here, so... I think I won't worry about that too much. I don't dislike this. I need to figure out what I want to do here. I like the um, the brightness and the translucency of of this up here. Um, this looks milky, and I don't like it. So, let's see just. Is there any other green I might want to try? I've got hooker's green here, which is kind of like the color that I <laughs> that I wanted in the first place. Um, hooker's green is opaque. And maybe if we put it here, I forgot to spray. Okay, that helped. This line, I'm not sure about that line. Um, I'm not sure if it's gonna get covered up with the panda or not. Um, I don't, I'm not unhappy, but I'm not happy yet. <laughs> um, and I know that backgrounds shouldn't take this long. Well, I should say a, prof a professional's background wouldn't take this long, but we all know I am not a professional. And I'm afraid that I shouldn't have done that because I bet you I pull color when I try and blend this because it wasn't dry enough. Now, with that being said, I kind of like that weird model -y look that I have going on there and that may not be an issue. It might not be a problem at all. Um, oh, we've got this area here that was too wet. Here, you guys can probably see what happened when I blended that. You see how it, um, it, it caused all the color that was there to be pushed out into the, into the painting and made that weird, ugly line. So thankfully, spraying it down took care of that. But sometimes you get those funky lines and you're just not gonna like it. I wanna do some, I wanna do some splattering of paint. I have no idea if I'm gonna like it or not, but I wanna try. Um, so you need a stiff brush for that or like a toothbrush. Let's 
see if I have anything like that in my arsenal of brushes, probably somewhere. And then I have to decide what color. Um, I want it to be light. I want it to be um, maybe even white. Not white. White would probably not be good, but a light green. Okay, I'm going to figure out what that is, grab my brush, and be back. Okay, I decided I'm going to try one more thing before I do some splattering. And this is the technique that I used on my tiger. Um, I'm going to use transparent mixing white. And I'm going to just let the brush just kind of do its thing twisty thing and then very lightly I might even leave that little bit a little heavier just like that um, it's cool to kind of to do for smoke for um, you know fog and mist and just to kind of give a cool Look, and I forgot to spray that. And then I think I'm going to glaze some color over the top of it after it dries. Just wanted a little bit more um, movement and weird, not weird, weird is not the right word, texture. Just a little bit more movement and texture in the background. So this is, this is working out okay, I think. We'll do it again. I have no idea what this is going to look like behind the um, the panda, but I uh, I think I'm going. I think I'm okay with it. I think I'll I'll like it. Okay, one more time of drawing. Well, not one more. I know it's not going to be one more, but another time of drawing. Okay, so um. I did add one more little layer of the transparent white with the um, sword liner brush that I'm using. Um, and now I'm going to try and do the same thing, maybe, with the um, lime, what is this color? <laughs> Brilliant yellow green. I have my um, rag ready so that in case I <clears throat> do anything that I hate, um, I can brush it off, but I just want to see what happens if I do it this way.
hoping that my um, that the background doesn't detract too much from the you know isn't too busy um, and detracts from the panda uh, so we don't we don't want that well, I suppose I can always um, paint over it if it's terrible I kind of like it though. good. Um, okay, so I don't, I think I better let this dry before I venture into spritzing with um, some paint, because if I hate the spritzing, I can always just wipe it off. So um, I will let this dry <laughs> and, um, and then we'll try some splattering. Okay, so I have this piece of brown paper um, that I'm just kind of seeing what this is going to do. And I think I have enough control to be happy. So I am using the transparent mixing white and a little bit of water. And um, okay, so I'm going to get kind of close. I want it to be um, you know kind of tight and I think I just have to go with whatever I get because I don't want to touch it um, other than in areas that I, I'm gonna be painting on. I don't want lumps. Um, okay, so I like that. I don't wanna to do too much of that. I think I'm gonna stop there, but there are some places that I think I want to dab. <clears throat> and I don't know, I might come, well, hopefully I don't ruin them. So I'm just going to dab a couple of these because I just didn't like the shape of them at all. Um, and I think the fur of him is going to go over those anyway. I like it. <laughs> it it looks like a, um, like a nebula, but a green nebula. So... Um, I'm good with that. I am going to go with that for the background. And, um, yeah, so I'm, this is going to dry. I'm going to go ahead and, um, redo the, the, the sketch onto the canvas. Again, I'm sorry. I can't show you how I do that because I use my iPhone to do it. And to be honest, now that, um, I am working even bigger than I've ever worked before. Um, the DaVinci Eye app, which I've used for quite a while, is not cutting it. Um, I can't get the phone far enough away from the uh, canvas um, to get the whole canvas in the screen to do it. And my arm's not long enough <laughs> to um, look at the camera and draw this and do the sketch. 
So um, I am looking to um, to get a projector so that I can just um, project my my sketch onto the um, onto the canvas. So um, when that happens, I might be able to show you. But um, in the meantime, just use whatever method um, you're comfortable with using to get your um, your sketch on there, whether it's tracing paper or hand drawing or um, uh, uh, transfer paper, um, whatever works best for you, that's what you should do. And um, again, I will remind you not to let anybody tell you that your method of getting your image onto your surface is wrong because whatever works for you best, whatever makes you happy and whatever gets you to painting, um, whether it's paint or pastels or pencil or whatever, um, that is the method that you should use. So that is all. I am kind of thinking that this um, is going to be the end of this video. I'm not sure how long this has taken me, but um, if it's taken me an hour, then that's probably um, okay for video one. And then when we come back for video two, um, we will start laying down our base layers. Okay, you guys, thank you for being here with me. Um, and uh, if you liked this video, if you found it useful, helpful, entertaining in any way, please hit that like button. Um, it makes such a difference in getting my video seen. And um, now that I'm not doing coloring pages anymore, um, and I'm trying to build my readership, my readership, um, viewership with... Um, other artists who are into doing the same thing that I'm doing. Um, I really rely on those comments and those likes to um, get those out into the world. So um, that is all. Until I see you guys on the next one, take care of yourselves and take care of each other. Love to everybody. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>